In March, Argentina's president, Javier Milei, announced he plans to visit Ukraine in June as part of a European tour. The announcement came after President Zelensky attended Milei's December presidential inauguration in Buenos Aires. A Milei visit to Ukraine would send an important message, says Argentina's former ambassador to Ukraine, Lila Roldan Vasquez. If uh, President Milei makes a visit, if he can show to the other countries or have a lead for other countries to follow this initiative and be more involved in a vocal support and concrete support to Ukraine. It also would contradict a Russian message about Latin America, according to Christopher Hernandez Roy with the Center for Strategic and International Studies. It counters the Russian narrative that all of Latin America is locked in this uh, non-alignment, non-interventionist kind of uh, uh, mood, um, which the Russians have actively been cultivating. Malay is also planning on holding a Ukraine-Latin America summit in 2024 to bring Kiev closer to the region. But that could be politically risky for both countries, says Alexey Atkidach with Ukrainian research institute Adastra. Ukraine faces a dilemma. They can organize a peace summit in Argentina, but some other Latin American leaders may not come. Most Latin American countries have previously stated they didn't plan on sending weapons to Ukraine. But Milei has already sent two Russian-made helicopters to Ukraine and says military aid could be a real possibility. Hernandez Roy says that's risky because Argentina relies on Russian exports of fertilizer and refined petroleum. If Millet were to be part, consider participating in some sort of swap of Soviet equipment for American equipment and send that to Ukraine, I would expect that the Russians will find ways to hurt and damage the Argentine economy. Former Ambassador Vasquez adds that Argentina is an outlier and that Russia's strong trading relationships with Latin American countries have led most to remain neutral in the conflict. For Irina Shankarenka in Washington, NRI's VOA News.